Hello, uh, I'm thinking about trying a little experiment here where I maybe make some electronic circuits and try to learn more about electronics and possibly record the process. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here yet. I, I've spent the last week building a whole setup and getting some light and made a rig to hang a, my phone down as a camera and things like that uh, with the idea that maybe I would make videos and stuff with it. Um, honestly, it was probably more fun to... Uh, build the rig but we'll see what happens um, a long time ago when I was younger I was kind of into electronics but not like in a deep way I there's a ton I really do not understand uh, and recently my oldest son kind of got into it a bit and so I dug out my old parts and he had fun building some circuits and I'm wondering not wondering but I'm thinking about maybe kind of starting over myself you know try to try to learn some basic bits and I thought maybe I'd make videos of me doing that. I don't know if that's interesting or not. I mean, most videos are people who kind of already know what they're doing and they're telling you how to do it. And in my case, I don't think I'm in that category at all. So probably you should never listen to anything that I say. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I make any more or not. Uh, maybe it will be too strange or difficult to do. I don't know. This is not. This is way out of my wheelhouse, that's for sure. Um, normally a software guy, so we'll see how this goes. The, the main reason, though, that I really kind of got into this is that when I was digging through my old parts, I found this. And uh, this is a INS8073, and it turns out that this is a processor, like, a, like an 8-bit processor, that has BASIC already on it and everything like that. Like, this is almost a self-contained computer in a way. You just, I, I believe you just have to add RAM and you have to have a clock you know, and a few other things like that. So, I don't know if I'll get there, but my quest, I guess you could say, is to at least get to the point where perhaps I can get this working, or at least verify that the chip is okay. I mean, it might not be. <laughs> it's been it's been in boxes and drawers and, you know, in the, in the garage and all kinds of stuff. I mean, I've had this chip probably, probably 20 years at this point, and I got it, I think I got it when I went on a a road trip with a friend who was way into electronics, you know, and I just tagged along and we went to this store that was like, I don't know, near Chicago, which for me is four to five hour drive away. And it was like one of those really cool stores, you know, it's just tons of random stuff, you know, they had racks of chips and capacitors and resistors. And anyway, he knew what he was doing. I picked up a couple of things with the idea that maybe someday I would make a computer with it. Yeah, that was like 20 years ago. Anyway, I found it. And so hopefully... I can get to that point. Uh, on the back here, I believe, is some static RAM, um, an SY2112A. Uh, probably will need something like that. I don't even, even know if these are the right things to use. Anyway, this, this is a long ways off. Um, for now, I think we'll start with something a little simpler, like maybe getting an LED hooked up. And we'll use that as a test run of my, my rig here, I guess. So I, I, to do that, I know I'll need some power. So I have one of these little battery thingies. And I guess I need batteries, don't I? Yeah, that's how this works. All right, we got some power now. Good, yay. All right, now to give you an idea of just how little I know about this stuff, um, <laughs> uh, I know that LEDs have a plus side and a negative side. Um, yes, that's a big leap, I know. Big revelation. And that the plus side is the longer one. I believe that's called the anode, and the cathode is the shorter one. I recently learned that anode means uh, way up, or something like that. It's like more up. And cathode means more down from Greek, I guess. So that's a good way to remember it now that I know what they mean, that anode is positive, it's up. Positive. Up is always positive, right? Um, I also know that we need a resistor, because if we don't have a resistor with an LED, we will burn it out almost immediately. And I believe the idea, the, the reason is that LEDs will just draw as much current I don't know if they draw it per se, but if you, if you connect the positive and the negative straight across it, it's going to go as fast as it can, and then it gets too hot and it burns out. So we don't want that. So I think we'll hook up 
I'll do it like this, which between the plus, the plus and the minus, and then I'll put the resistor between. Oh, I guess I'll just do it over here and make like a jumper. Okay, so the resistor goes from minus to to this this row. I don't know if row is the right word there. This line. Um, we'll just pick a little appropriately sized jumper. Perhaps this one will do to connect to the two. Okay, and then we should be able to get an LED. Hook this into minus and this into plus. Whoops. <laughs> there. There we go. Yay. An LED. I don't know how well that comes across in the, like the camera. You can tell when it's on or off. It's curious how it looks sort of white on the camera, but, well, it works. You can tell. Um, that's it. Very exciting, I know. Um, hmm. Maybe we should add, like, a push button. That'd be really exciting. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not doing, like, a whole video here. This is really more of a test, but I might end up doing a tiny amount of editing just to go through the process and see how it works you know, and, and upload it anyway. I mean, I have like, you know, four followers, so it doesn't really make any difference to me. Um, let's put this here. Oh, we'll just be silly here and do that. So now it goes from minus across here for no, absolutely no reason. Uh, let's clean. It. Let's do this. Let's put this switch in here. I'm not actually sure which way they connect. If they connect from here to here or Let's see if I can get the, uh, I'm going to disconnect this, one. get it out of the way. Sorry about this noise. I don't know what to do about that just yet. Um, okay. Not, con not continuity. Okay, so I have it set up so that they go across like that. So that means I would want this over here from positive to negative then it should go from here to here. So I think that's all I need to do. I don't need to get anything else set up. We'll put plus and minus. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yes, this is where we're at. So you can imagine how somehow we're going to get to this point. Maybe. Not sure how that's going to work out. But anyway, in the meantime, we have a fun blinky light. All right, that's it.